Okay, everybody, welcome to PowerShell. All right, so let's jump right in. Let's mess with the MF stuff first. Okay, so my execution policy is already going to be set to unrestricted, but I'll show you what you do with it. So you check your execution policy. You can see that mine's set to unrestricted. However, uh, if yours isn't, do this next line and set it to unrestricted. This is so that you can run other PS1 files. Okay. Now you need to be conscious of this because you as a pen tester, when you're breaking into machines, this is going to be something you're going to need to think about. You may, you may be trying to figure out, hey, why are my scripts not running? This definitely could be one of the, one of the reasons. So we've got a sample XML file, right? And it's just called sample scan dot XML. Oh, whoops, okay, I need, I need to get cd dot dot, there you go. So if I type sample XML scan, and you'll see it's this massive, massive XML of an in-map scan. This thing is huge. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to say, okay, let's deal with that sample scan.xml file. So we'll say parse, right? And now you see that it comes up with the parse in map script. So we'll just say sample scan.xml. See how it fills all this out for us. Now, do you see how he's already formatting that script for us? Okay, very, very nice. All right, well, we got through that scan. Now, the other thing that you can see is the script, you can run it a couple of ways. You can parse <clears throat> one particular XML scan or you can go for a whole series of XML files, right? Or you can DIR it, right? And then pipe that output into it. But let's see if we can do some quick. Okay, so here you're gonna see that we're gonna push this and then we're gonna say, okay, where the OS looks like Windows XP, format it so that I can see the IP address, the host name, and the OS. So this is kind of like said in awk in Linux. So you want to start formatting how the data looks on the screen. See that? Nice pretty view of all of your in-map data. Okay, and that's handy. So that's all only Windows XP host. Okay, now let's say we want to do the same thing, but I only want to get stuff that's running SSH. So here you can see every host that shows up is a host that's running SSH. Now you're seeing that we can do this on multiple ports, right? Let's say you want to get just um, you want to get just web ports. So I'm doing the exact same thing on anything running port 80 and port 443. I'm sorry, not and or 443. The pipe is an or.
So you can see how he's got a port 80 open in this list, right? And he's got a port 443 open in this list. So really, really good. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.